What's going down, y'all, on this thirsty Thursday morning? Glorious. Glorious. I'm probably going to go back to bed here in a little bit, but it's because I pinched a nerve between my shoulder blades. It's shitty. Who wants to come fucking rub that out for me? <laughs> that fucking hurts, bro. Chiropractor, fucking <laughs> sports, fucking massage therapist. I'm down. I none of that rub and tug bullshit. That ain't what I'm talking about. Shit fucking hurts. Um... Wanted to check in with y'all. Um, what's going on in the market? Now y'all see some of that bullshit that was going on yesterday on Twitter. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Funny how it works out. And the guy like, hey, this is probably fucking not the deal. Y'all should chill out, relax. And look, oh, fuck, he was right. Almost like I've been doing this a minute. Um, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. See, they see some shit and they're like, hey, hold up. We don't want to. We want these people fucking getting their hopes up. We want to shatter their shit when we fucking cut them back down. We want these people to get frustrated and fucking sell. Fuck that. I don't. I want to see you guys win. That's why when I see some shit, I'm like, nah, that's not quite it. I know because I probably would have got excited too. With, you know, out the, the proper team with me and a little bit of fucking experience and doing what, you know, <laughs> this is all about. I, I probably got excited, too. But like I was explaining to someone yesterday, I, I was he, I was here at that seventy two dollar fucking rip. And I was like, fuck, yes, about to get paid, about to get paid. Daddy about to get paid. Need a new pair of shoes. Um, and then to watch it go. <laughs> Emotional damage That shit was painful bro um, So I don't want to see you guys go through that Coupled with you know Why it was occurring And we still may see a little bit here and there Because it seems like They let off enough pressure over the last two days To be able to manage That bank getting fucking mauled Um but there's still some bad paper from that floating around. That's why you're still seeing that fucking ping pong action back. You know, fucking what, 19, 19 and a half, right around in there. So, but it's a little bit easier to control. But I will say it was fucking expensive for them the last two days to keep that shit under $22. Expensive. What's going to be even more expensive is they can't have it fucking up this high right now. So they're going to try to cut that shit back down. That's why in my tweet I said, don't worry with deck fucking, you know, 14, 15, right around in there where we were because we were holding solid. That's more in their affordable range. But it's going to cost them money to bring that shit back down. Going to cost them money. So, if you want to buy right now, hey, knock yourself out. I'm not going to tell you not to. I'm not going to tell you to buy. But me, the investor that I am, I'm loading up in my different accounts. And I'm going to wait for that to go. I'm going to wait for them to spend all that money dropping it back down to where they want it. Or where they think they want it. And then... uh it's going to be that fucking, that shit is gone. I'm going to hit him at once. Not that the price action necessarily or our buy or sell orders affect the market. But if we can all throw our buy orders at them, um, when they're vulnerable, we may affect that algo. We may knock that algo off track again. Worth a chance, but worst case, we don't, you get those shares at a discount price. <laughs> like I was telling people yesterday, I was like, I hope they drop that shit to $10. <laughs> they drop that to $10, I'm going to double, maybe even triple my position. Um, Do what you can with what you got, but remember, do not play with what you can't afford to lose. A lot of people are dumping everything they got into this because they have, they have a dream here and, and they're thinking with their heart. <laughs> and their dream um what you don't want to do is invest and over leverage yourself into this play and then if something goes wrong you get fucked up you lost your money you lost fucking your auntie's money you lost your kids fucking college tuition you lost your retirement fucking account that you took a loan out on i heard that shit too i was like 
Why the fuck would you take a loan out from your retirement account on? You have to pay taxes on that shit. But um, neither here nor there. Be careful. Uh, only play with what you can afford to lose uh, here on the street. As soon as you make that money, that initial investment back, what I like to do is pull back that initial investment, put it back where I got it from, and then virtually I'm playing with house money. So you guys can do what you want, but I try to throw the little bits and pieces of how I've done stuff over the last few years to keep myself safe. Why? Because I have a bunch of kids <laughs> and I'm not trying to have them suffer when I get mauled. So uh, this is a short one today. I love you guys. For everyone out there that's like, oh, you need to fucking not do this. You need to not do that. Uh, I just, I like your content, but you, know, you don't stay away from the mom jokes and da da da. Hey, guess what? This is my page. Unfollow. Do unfollow. We have fun. We talk some shit. <laughs> you could talk a lot of shit on Twitter and not get kicked off. I figured this out. As long as it doesn't, you know, fall into the guidelines of fucking this, 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 and this, you know, like uh, race, <laughs> gender, <laughs> religious status, sexuality, shit like that. As long as you stay the fuck away from there, you can pretty much talk all the shit you want. So we have fun with it. If you don't appreciate it, cool. Hey, check it out. Uh, you don't need to be here. Just <laughs> fu fuck off. <laughs> Otherwise, you cannot appreciate it and not fucking comment. If you still want the information, but you really don't like it, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm down with it. Just that comment. No, I don't appreciate it. Like, cool. Nobody gives a fuck what you appreciate. I don't. You, you want to know what else? My country's falling apart and nobody gives a fuck that I don't appreciate it. So take your fucking Karen bullshit and go shove that shit up your ass sideways. Because no one else on this channel gives a flying fuck. So I love you guys. I appreciate all the positive comments here on uh, Yankee Tango YouTube. Um, they, they, they help. Um... It's cool going through a thread and seeing a bunch of positive shit as opposed to a bunch of negative. So it's cool. I'm down with that. Um, it gives me that fuel to, you know, want to put a video out instead of like, uh, do I really want to deal with these fucking assholes again? Twitter? Twitter's toxic as fuck. But some days I want to fuck around. Some days I don't. <laughs> you guys know when I want to fuck around because I get on there and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to pop one off on this dude. Hold up. Pull the pin. I blow up the fucking <laughs> the, the twatter space. Um, as for Vonnie, Vonnie, I love you. I'm always going to love you. I love you. So hopefully you got my message. I think you may have dropped one back to me. I'm going to check it here before I lay back down. My back's fucking like right here, like right between my shoulder blades. Fucking pinched the nerves. Just fucking. I'm like, Ugh. every time I cough or fart or laugh, I'm like, oh, God, sweet Jesus. Somebody step on my head. Um. I love you, Vonnie. I'll get back to you here in a little bit. Uh, we'll set something up. We'll set something up. Um, if y'all have any... Uh, shit, what do we want to do today? It's Thursday, Thursday. There's a fucking hockey game on tonight. Uh, Los Angeles Kings going to fuck up the Chicago, Chicago Blackhawks. We saw how Trashville did the other night. I fucking... Hey, for all y'all Predator fans out there, I don't want to get no fucking emails, no hate and discontent. Y'all got fucked up. Y'all got fucked up. Uh, Chicago is going to get their shit pushed in tonight at the fucking Staples Center. Yes, it's the Staples Center. I will not call it fucking Crypto.com Arena because fuck them. That's why um, I'm old school Staples. Actually, I'm like old school, old school, like Great Western Forum in Inglewood. Inglewood, you like fucking driving through McDonald's and they got fucking the drawer, the bulletproof drawer you get your food out of. That was some fucking serious hood. Try being a fucking, a uh, fucking white kid. Middle class, middle to lower class white kid fucking driving through Inglewood to go watch a fucking Kings game at the Great Western Forum. That's the wrong hood. Mr. Jim's Beef. You don't need no teeth to eat Mr. Jim's Beef. That was the best fucking barbecue place I've ever been to. They were like, damn boy, you in the wrong hood. I was like, hey, I'm just here for the barbecue. I'm just here for the barbecue. But I did find my love for Church's Chicken there too. So I got a lot of friends down in LA. And LBC, 
Uh, where the fuck is Damien? Uh, now, Damien's deployed right now. That's my bad. Damien, if you're watching this video, bro, you stay safe over there. He's over in fucking European theater. But uh, he's uh, one of my boys from uh, Long Beach and all his peeps out there. I love you guys. You guys make me feel like uh, like family every time I'm down there with you guys. <laughs> every time uh, I got to designate it. I, I got to be the DD for y'all because you guys get fucked up. But it's cool. We're down. Um, but anyways, hockey game tonight. Uh, do I even want to ask what everyone's opinion? Nah, I don't want to ask that. I don't want to ask that. I don't want to ask that because we got judges right now that can't fucking define, you know. I'm not a biologist. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't a biologist, but you stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Oh, fuck. Anybody remember that commercial? The, the, those those commercials? <laughs> Brain surgeon. <laughs> oh, I'm not a doctor, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. This bitch is about to be Supreme Court justice. She can't fucking... Never mind. <laughs> never mind. I We gotta fucking throw that bitch back. Fuck it. Toss the line back out there and catch another one. Uh, there's plenty of good candidates out there from across the country. Fuck, we shouldn't be looking at one side of the aisle. We want to have the best possible candidates in those positions, but... That'll never happen because we're fucking stuck on fucking stupidity in the political spectrum. But soon enough, they're going to do enough dumb shit that you and me as Americans are going to say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck your side, fuck your side. We're fucking wiping the slate clean. We're starting the fuck over. If you've ever had any political affiliation with either side, go fuck yourself. You're fucking no longer fucking even able to run. Because you guys have fucked this country up so bad that now Americans, blue collar, working for a living Americans, are going to have to take back all these fucking seats across the board. That's what's going to happen in the future, folks. So be ready. Be ready because service. Politicians, senators, congressmen, fucking president. Nobody, none of these motherfuckers should get paid. None of them. There should not be a fucking paycheck involved. Not a fucking pension for life, not medical, not nothing. It is a service. You serve term limits for congressmen and fucking senators. Eight years max, both of them. Term limits for the president. Already in place. Fucking new blood needs to be in their office. No pay. If you didn't make wise decisions in life before you got elected, you shouldn't have been elected. Which means you eating top ramen, mac and cheese, and fucking... Ballpark Franks. They plump when you cook them, bitch, just like your career. Don't do stupid shit. Don't take money. Fucking, you should already have your life established and be ready to serve your country. Serve. Um, I'm not, I, I, y'all get me on one of those rants. We'll fucking be here for an hour. And you guys don't, you know, oh, if it's past five minutes, people aren't going to watch it. Oh, cool. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Needed to be said. But neither here nor there, Americans are going to be what takes this fucking country back and makes it right. Makes the system that we had intended on by our founding fathers work. We're fucking so far, so far past it and into, uh, you know, corrupt areas because we're seeing it here in the stock market. We're seeing it in the judicial system. We're seeing it across the board. Everybody wants their influence in so they can, they can pervert whatever it is to benefit them i ain't down with that folks i ain't down with that by either party i'll call everybody out equally fuck y'all fuck y'all we're good um i love you guys i'm glad i got the opportunity and the blessing to be able to come on here and uh, share a little bit with you guys maybe share some of the uh, mistakes that i've made some of the experiences that i've had to save you guys from having to go down that same road and experience it for yourself. So until next time, Mr. El Spaghetti, checking out.